All right, here I want to show you an alternative method that you can use to do the enlargement and reduction of a given figure. An alternative method that you can use to do the enlargement and reduction of a given figure as I've done one method before. So I'm giving you another method that you can use to do this. And I'm going to combine the two together on this same object. Now we want to enlarge this object from uh, from size 4 to size 6 and then we also reduce the same object from size 4 to size 2 according to what we have here so how can you do that so what you need to do is that you extend this line a little bit then you draw a line from here from point a here draw this line like this and make six equal divisions on this line make six equal divisions on this line as i'm going to show you here okay so make six equal division with any convenient radius on this line this is one this is two this is three here is four, here is five, and this is six. All right, so number this. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? So join four, as we have that four is common, so you join four with point B, as I'm going to do it here, join 4 with point, point B or join B4 together. Join B4 together. The straight line. Okay. So join B4 together. Then after this, the next thing that we are going to do is that we take our compass and set it on line B4 and support it with our ruler. So we take our set square, not a compass. Take your set square, set it on line B4 and support it with your ruler. Then you shift to point two like this so shift shift to point two and draw this line then you also shift it back to point six here so here we have this point like this all right so for the enlargement this is point b1 why for the reduction this is point b2 for the reduction so let's do the enlargement first let's do the enlargement first so the first thing that you need to do is to set your set square okay before that sorry for that from point a you draw a radial line so from point a draw a radial line like this and also from point a draw a radial line passing through point d as we have done that of point a passing through point C then also from point A draw this line let it move out of point E as you can see it there so the next thing that you are going to do now is that set your set square on line BC like this and support with your ruler then you shift the set square to point B1 so to point B1 so draw a line so the line meets this line at this point. This is point C1 here now. So this is C1. Then you set your set square on CD, line CD. Then you shift the set square to point C1 like this. Shift to C1 and draw a straight line like this. Okay. So this is point D1. This point is point D1. Then you set your set square on line DE so that we can get our point, uh, so we can get point E1. So you shift the set square now, shift it to point D1 and draw a line like this. All right, so this is point E1 for enlargement. 
So for what we have done here now, I need to make this line, I need to make it a thick line. Okay. So for what we have done here now, we have enlarged the ob object from size 4 to size 6. We have enlarged the object, object using this proportion given for ratio 6. So the next thing that we are going to do is to reduce the object. So the next thing that we are going to do is that set your cell square on line BC, support it with your ruler, and shift to point 2. Shift to point 2, that's point B2. So draw this line like this. Okay, then this is point C2 now. This is point C2. Then set your cell square on line CD, on line CD, support with your ruler, and you shift down to point C2 here. So draw this line like this. So this is point D2 here. So here we have point D2. So the next is to locate point E2. So you set your cell square on line DE and you shift it inward like this. When you get to point D2, you stop it there and then you draw this line like this. Alright, so this is point E2. So that is for the reduction. So for the enlargement, we have what we have. A, B1, C1, D1, and E1 for the enlargement. While for the reduction, we have A, B2, C2, D2, and E2 for the reduction. So this is an alternative method that you can use to enlarge and reduce a given figure. All you need to do is to practice. And don't forget to su subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not subscribed. Share my video with your friends who are also technical drawing students like you. And also, make sure you put on the notification bell whenever you subscribe, so that whenever I upload a, a new video, you will be notified. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Keep on practicing and God bless you.